honestly, if you have the faith to believe this, may God do something in your life. May God raise a man. May God bring an idea. May God make your proposal pass through. By any godly means, arise to a new financial status. Rise beyond the realm of begging. Rise beyond the realm of borrowing. I say it again, rise beyond the realm of begging. Rise beyond the realm of borrowing. You will lend to nations in the name of Jesus Christ. May my God give you treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places. I decree and declare favor whether you go out, whether you come in, whether you are in Nigeria, whether you are outside Nigeria, may that favor compel men to help you speedily. Compel men to help you speedily. Let me pray for your finances. Let me pray for you. We're in a season where Satan seems to be cutting the life of people short. When people are just about to emerge to a new layer, in ministry and destiny, they just die like that. I'm praying for you. In the name of Jesus, you shall not die. Receive it or you shall not die. Not by sickness, not by accident. Not by witchcraft, not by oppression. Anybody cooking up enchantment against you, let it backfire back to them. In the name of Jesus Christ. I say it again, anyone fraternizing with hell that you must die this year, their evil returns back to them. <laughs> Hallelujah. There are people here, look at me. Now, I'm not saying going abroad really means anything. But there are people, there is nothing in your life that has ever gone global not your products not you from your lineage where you come from nobody's head has ever been lifted to a global scale at best you are just recycled here let me push you by prophecy in the name that is above all names whatever has kept you down for the name of jesus and for being an effective witness rise to a global scale rise to a global scale in ministry rise to a global scale in business rise to a global scale may your products be global may your services be global in the name of Jesus the Giants that sit on every mountain and make sure people don't climb up to the mountain once you are at the valley remain there but once you want to climb up to the mountain they say when your father did not climb there your mother did not climb there i pray for someone again in the name of jesus for the sake of his majesty you will be a record breaker for the sake of his majesty you will be a record breaker i i release that grace upon you listen god who took me from nowhere and by his mercy took me where I am today. I pray for you. May God announce your names to kings. Announce your name to governments. Announce your name to captains of industry. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that fights your influence, fights your relevance, by this grace, it dies here tonight. Hear me? Every man of God connected to this grace, every true son and daughter in ministry i pray for you for the sake of his majesty rise to a global scale may the nations demand your grace may they honor jesus in your life i will multiply them they will not be few i will glorify them they will not be small i say it again be multiplied may you experience the glory of god now hear me hear me we're wrapping up my apologies for stretching you but you'll be surprised what will happen to you listen can i tell you the truth not everybody has been mandated to help you 
stop looking for everybody to help you this is not how it works and don't choose the person to help you by yourself you will make a mistake you will choose in the flesh but you need one person I can point strategic people who appeared in my life and brought years and added them to my life I've seen my own may you see your own in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ Koinonia go forward go forward go forward go forward advance leap over walls run through a troop in the name of Jesus Christ by your reception of these manifold graces I'm praying for you results you have not seen from January till July begin to see them from this night results you have not seen from January till now I say to you again begin to see them from this night fearful results in ministry fearful results in business fearful results in family every negative cloud over your head that is driving good things driving good people making you see good as evil and evil as good I decree and declare let that cloud be lifted from off your head every demonic force manipulating your reasoning always making you to get into trouble making bad decisions I cry unto God again in the name of Jesus may your mind be under the influence of the Spirit of God superior destiny advancing decisions ministry advancing decisions finance multiplying decisions grace multiplying decisions my final prayer for you tonight it is not a sin to be celebrated it is only when your heart is derailed through it some of you nobody has ever clapped to say Kai I see the hand of God in your life let me pray for you may my God do something between now and the end of the month that will bring strange celebrations to your life in the name of Jesus Christ say after me in the name of Jesus I am a steward of the manifold grace of God say it again I am a steward I am a recipient of the manifold grace of God I activate the graces by faith they begin to speak in every area of my life in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for anyone here you have struggled with prayer is something you can't tell anyone but every time you go to pray you are sleeping you are snoring you watch people pray generating power but the truth is that that grace is not yet on your life I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus genuine authentic grace for prayer let it rest on you now let it rest on you now pastor let it rest on you now businessman let it rest on you now the grace to wake up and pray pray yourself to greatness I release that grace upon you now number two laziness over the study of scripture there is no book you have brought that you've been able to read you've not been able to read one book of the Bible you are a sincere Christian it's been a struggle it's not by trying once that grace is not there you will struggle I pray for you passion for the world may it consume you may it consume you may it consume you may 
may it consume you in the name of Jesus Christ. The grace for signs and wonders. Bringing evidence to your Christian work. You are a man of God here, receive it. It takes power to give witness to the resurrection. I pray for you. Fearful evidences of God's grace. Striking testimonies. Begin to experience it in your life. Begin to experience it in ministry. Begin to experience it in your life. Extraordinary wonders may it be rushed through your hands in the name of Jesus Christ. The grace that draws men, the gift of men. Please, everybody, receive this one the gift of men, so that you don't struggle for nothing. There has to be a helper somewhere ordained by God. Anywhere at all where there is a need, I tell you there is a helper. I pray from today, you will not struggle to find helpers. You will not struggle to find helpers. Help us in ministry. Help us in business. Help us in your family. You will never be alone to struggle alone again. In the name of Jesus. May someone be interested in your matter. May someone be interested in your rising. May someone be interested in your shining. May someone be interested in your restoration. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. The days of speaking alone and not having anybody listen to you because nobody takes your value seriously whether it's ministerial value professional value business value in the name of jesus i'm praying for you by this grace that comes upon you now everybody who needs what you carry i gravitate them to your destiny i gravitate them to your destiny i gravitate them to your destiny in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, Doth not wisdom cry. I'm praying for you. The era of foolish decisions, trouble-making decisions, destiny-pegging decisions, by this impartation of wisdom, may you begin to make superior decisions. Superior decisions. Decisions, one decision that you will make, you will leap five years forward. Five years forward. Five years forward. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let me abound in this grace also. I have received the grace for prayer. Let the grace for revelation rest upon me. Let me not just be a prayer person. Access to the mysteries of the kingdom. Someone is praying. The grace for favor. I'm tired of struggling in my organization. Struggling in ministry. Struggling financially. Compromising here and there because of money. Go ahead and pray. Tired of stuntedness. Gifted. But limited. Because the grace for influence is not there. The hear ye him anointing is not there. Someone pray. I make progress but my progress is slow. Annoyingly slow. Lord grant me the grace for speed. Someone pray. Pray passionately. Passionately. Pray passionately. Ashalagabaka parakata parakatos. The manifold grace of God at work in your life. The manifold grace of God. Financial grace. Leadership grace, grace for prayer, grace for revelation, 
grace for influence activating the gifts of man these are the graces that give you an edge in life and destiny these are the graces that give you an edge in ministry an edge in business While preparing for this teaching, I was not crying, but I found tears just running out of my eyes. And I began to think to myself, what if I did not know this? What if these graces were not found in my life? I would have been such a frustrated man of God. I probably would have raised a frustrated people lopsided in many ways maybe i would have been a man of prayer with no grace for revelation there would be no growth and maturity or i would have been a man sound in revelation but i would have downplayed the prayer ministry maybe i would not have been able to attract certain kinds of people because the grace that brings kings nobles it's not there. Man, rise up in one minute and begin to pray from the depth of your heart. Shaka paka tapa takatos, ke prende ke paros ke te lakata parusia. Someone pray. Please pray, please pray. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. Till there's no you. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name hear me I have prayed for a family where all of them mysteriously HIV just manifested in their life like that like from father to children there was no history of that demonic thing but everybody like that I know people who are healthy and sound and fine about to get married they went to do blood tests and they suddenly found out that one person is hiv and the person said i can't there is no way this would have come medically certified when everything scatters they go back and check and you find out they are perfectly sound i like you to pray and say in the name of jesus christ say it say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that no power will contend with my authority I am a spirit with a mortal body I am a spirit that submits to the authority of Jesus open your mouth and begin to declare I have dominion in the name of Jesus over the realm of the air the realm of the sea someone is praying sabagata barate kate palaka to soprondos ekrete ke parato soto prende kate palaka dia sakata praska de palakata Pray, something is happening. Pray, something is happening. 
Pepate kaparaka toshkedea. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout it, say in the name of Jesus. I take my rightful place on earth as God's steward. And I declare, Holy Spirit, I am in partnership with you. Every good thing that must manifest from heaven to my life I declare let it be so now lift your voice and begin to pray I take my place I take my place every good and perfect gift assigned by God to find expression in my life in this season I declare I take my rightful place as God's steward on earth. Shabagada bagada bagata brande gade bala sosia. Ebra katosh kodo brande gade bale kata. Shabrande gade baruskiata. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, every system of authorization working against my life, my family, my destiny, by the blood of the eternal covenant, be silenced now. Open your mouth and pray. Be silenced. Be silenced. Be silenced. Shekete pakata balakatosh embrekete kata paros kotopa be silenced in the name of Jesus systems of authorization fighting your influence fighting your destiny hallelujah hallelujah now hear me this prayer you are about to pray many miracles are going to come out of it say in the name of Jesus I declare that this body is the temple of the Holy Spirit therefore every sickness and infirmity in this body programmed to waste my life I command depart now open your mouth and pray depart fibroids depart high blood pressure depart cancer depart someone pray tumors growths depart blood conditions depart Shagada bagada bagados kade, embrete kabaruso segede balapus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. I declare from today that I have a covenant of longevity. My body will never separate from my spirit until my time is done every premature separation either by accident by sickness by the activity of wicked people i cause it right now go ahead and pray no premature separation coming in the form of accidents
Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Please don't be distracted. Jeremiah 22, 29. Please give it to us quickly. Jeremiah 22, verse 29. It says, O earth, 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 hear ye. O earth, earth, earth. It says, hear ye the word of the Lord. The earth is a universal point of contact. The Bible says, as for the earth, out of it comes bread. It says, the profit of the earth is for all. And even the king is fed by that which comes from the earth. I'd like you to pray. Say in the name of Jesus, my portion given to me by God, I decree and declare through the ministry of men, let it gravitate towards my destiny. Open your mouth and pray. God is a God of portions. God is a God of portions. Pray! God is a God of portions. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Every negative inheritance that has been transferred to me by those who were before me, I decree and declare by the blood of the Lamb, I reject it right now. I reject it. Go ahead and pray. Every negative inheritance, inheritance, that has come as untimely death negative things closed doors i reject it someone pray i reject it i reject it i reject it in the name of jesus i reject it Abagada Barakos, Abrakatos Kateba Lakatash. Hallelujah. Listen. The implication of having dominion over the realm of the air, the realm of water, the realm of earth is that no element that comes from these sources should work against you. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Judges, I, I, I was quickly trying to look for the scripture. Judges chapter 5. I hope I get it right. Let's look at 19 and 20. This was Deborah and Sisera. Judges 5. The kings came and fought. I hope I got. Then fought the kings of Canaan in Tanakh by the waters of Megiddo. And they took no gain of money. Verse 20. Yes. It says they fought from heaven. The stars in their courses fought against Sisera. Can I tell you, the elements of nature
can hearken to the voice of those who know their God and can stand in partnership hold on that means if someone goes to use the earth against me or pronunciations that go through the wind or water provided is one of these elements did the bible not say the sun shall not smite you by day nor the moon by night say in the name of jesus i speak to the elements of creation hear the word of the lord walk in partnership with the holy spirit and the word of god for my favor for my destiny not against me open your mouth and begin to pray the elements of the supernatural i decree and declare the sun shall not smite me by day the moon shall not smite me by night the scourging tongues of men shall not catch up with me i have dominion over the air dominion over the sea dominion over the earth pray hallelujah hallelujah don't be tired Genesis 1 from verse 20 I want to show you something about the mystery of this water you see are you ready and God said let the waters do what bring forth abundantly so water is connected to abundance and water in scripture means men too are we together it is not just about physical water water is also prophetic and symbolic of men it says let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that had life the fowl that it may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven 21 let's read together one to read and god created the great whales and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly. Hold on. We are going to declare the prayer of abundance. Waters here does not mean going to do enchantment with water. Water here means men. Are we together? Water. Prophetic. That means everybody's abundance is in the hands of men. And the Bible says God can issue a command and those men can release it abundantly say in the name of Jesus I decree and declare the abundance a sign for my life for my assignment through the ministry of men I declare let it be released unto me go ahead and pray let the waters bring forth abundantly Someone pray, someone pray. Let the water spring forth abundantly. Shabragadeba lagata proskodoba lando shaliatas.
Hallelujah. Psalm 79 verse 11. Psalm 79 verse 11. Let the sighing of the prisoner come before thee. According to the greatness of thy power, preserve thou those that are appointed to die. Death is an appointment. I can reject an appointment that you give me. We can fix an appointment for 12 and I can choose to reject it. Is that true? Please look up. For there to be an appointment, it means there must be some sort of consent, even if not mutual. There has to be an awareness. Okay, you go to apply for a visa, you expect an appointment. There is an understanding between you and the, the, the consular officers that there is an appointment. So when the Bible talks about an appointment, it means someone represented you for that appointment to be fixed even if you are not there like a man can go to get an appointment for all his children and they just know that your appointment is on the 25th so when the bible says there are people appointed to die it may be that they through ignorance have signed in for that appointment or someone before them already made the appointment in the name of jesus christ every appointment whether by covenant whether by ignorance or by disobedience with the spirit of death i decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant help them please let it be cancelled now open your mouth and pray by the greatness of your power preserve those who have been appointed to die someone pray by the blood of the eternal covenant hallelujah in the name of jesus we have one last prayer please look up and this prophetic prayer is dedicated to nigeria listen carefully you see this onslaught of terrorism and the rest go and read the book of esther you will find out that haman and the plotters of evil they consulted by divination and they were given a date when they will attack i can tell you this for sure no terrorist attacks at will no they consult with the constellations and they make incantations until the heaven gives them a go that's why it looks like it is effortless regardless army regardless whatever i say it with all due respect to all the forces who are doing their best but there has to be a spiritual advantage can i tell you the truth if you approach spiritual things just with your head knowledge or with strength you will be a victim of several casualties it is not like satan and terrorists are so powerful their advantage is not in their physical armory i tell you this their advantage is that they have mastered through divination the art of manipulating the realm of the spirit and it is good for us to pray but for god's sake prayer in ignorance is the same thing as not praying hallelujah so they set a date and even though her man was dead the decree of the date for destruction still continued it took another decree to change it the bible says where the word of a king is it says there is power it said declare ye that thou mightest be justified if you refuse to plant in a farm something will still grow the name is weed in elementary science or agriculture they define wheat as weed as unwanted are we together unwanted plants while men slept hear me 
we are going to make decrees every element of the supernatural that has been manipulated to work supporting evil and death and bloodshed in this nation in this city and around please don't say it does not concern you don't make the mistake of esther when her man was plotting evil esther was enjoying the delicacy of the palace and mordecai sent a warning he said do not think if you are silent that when they are done with us you will be spared for you do not know whether it is for such a time as this everyone who has been kidnapped even those killed they were sincere people who got up in the morning just like you don't forget that you have not you have not stopped moving you to move out in the morning and in the night so don't say it does not matter shout this from the depth of your heart say in the name of Jesus I take my place as one who has authority and I decree and declare the spirit of bloodshed the spirit of terrorism the spirit of oppression around our land the spiritual power that supports you we break it right now go ahead and pray the covenants that support you be broken the altars that support you be broken the enchantments that support you be broken the priesthood that supports you be broken we prophesy to the north we prophesy to the south we prophesy to the east we prophesy to the west in the name of jesus we declare the ministry of angels may they excel in strength by the word of the lord we declare this by the decree of the watchers in the name of jesus christ there is no rest and no peace for evil hallelujah hallelujah let me just add this one last one you are going to declare prophetically safety and preservation over everyone who is connected to you listen listen you have to reject bad news between now and december you, you, your your destiny is not ready for some kind of news that will depress you and waste your time it is within your power yours is to stand in your position with your delegated authority and with understanding and to make decrees are we together you are going to mention the name of everyone including yourself and declare the bible says the name of the lord is not only a weapon of victory it is a strong tower the righteous can enter and they are saved begin to mention the name of your loved ones your spouse your children your parents lord we declare covering prophetic covering they are exempted from the arrows that fly by day exempted from the noisome pestilence the destruction that wastes in noonday a thousand shall fall by your side ten thousand by your right side none shall harm you with your eyes will you see and the reward of the wicked hallelujah let me make one decree over your life and we're done revelations 3 and verse 8 revelations 3 and verse 8 let's start from 7 and 8 revelations 3 to the angel of the church in philadelphia write these things 
say it he that is holy he that is true and had the key of david he that openeth and no man did you see that so who are those that shot who are those that shot and who are those that open he had the key of david he opened it that means if you don't have the key of david you can open a door that a man can shut you can shut a door that the man can open but it says he that had the key of david and by the mystery of the key of david that a door can be opened that no man can shut and shut and no man can open verse 8 he says i know thy works behold i who has the key of david i have opened before thee he says i have set before thee an open door and no man can shut it because i acknowledge that you have little strength yet with your little strength you have kept my word and you have not denied my name i stand in partnership with the holy spirit and according to revelation chapter 3 from verse 7 and 8 i decree and declare upon you that door that has been set may it be open and remain open doors of favor be open and remain open doors of lifting be open and remain open doors of restoration be open and remain open doors of opportunity be open and remain open doors of speed be open and remain open hear me i release this prophetic word let it follow you like your shadow that any human vessel in partnership with any spirit that wants to shut this door may this prophetic word judge them i say it again any human being that wants to shut the door that the hold of the key of david has opened Makesh Kalibaratasiata. May this prophetic word judge them. Some of you, by reason of these open doors, things that have been hanging that you have just been seeing but will never come to your hand in the name of jesus let it enter your hand finally for in jesus name we pray please wave your hands to jesus